This is the all new Honda HRV Hybrid, and today we're lucky enough to have this highly specced up model, which is the advanced model with the sports pack added to it as well. So it's loaded with a bunch of new tech. There is just so much to cover with this brand new car, but we'll try and keep it as simple as possible for you and try not to bore you with too much of the technical stuff. But before we get into this car, diving into the interior and exterior and see how it is driving on the road with all the tech included in it, be sure to like our video and check out our channel and subscribe for more weekly content. Now, starting at the front there, we have this lovely new blue Honda badge, specific to their electrified model. This, of course, being a self-charging vehicle, you don't have to plug it in. You just top it up with a bit of petrol every now and then. And well, the car does the rest of it all for you. By combining that hybrid technology that uses both the electric motors and a petrol engine, that's where you get all of that economy from. So, what do we have at the front then? Well, for starters, you get this massive front grille here which grabs your attention straight away on this particular car here you can see it's finished in this black but you can get this finished in the color of your car as well and so it comes a standard this car being fully specced with all the options they've actually specced it to have the black grille there which i think looks very nice but as you would have seen on our social media the white car that we have here at chiswick honda does in fact have a white colored grille so either way it really is stunning you also get on all entry models parking sensors at the front here which are very nice and flush and of course these lovely brand new led headlights and sequential indicators which i can show you right here if i go ahead and go into the inside as you can see it's extremely premium if i go ahead there and just put the hazards on you see, as the car is indicating, they are in fact sequential, moving in the direction that they are indicating in. You don't get this on at the back of the car, only at the front, but it just looks absolutely stunning. Of course, there as well, we have the indicators on those massive mirrors. We'll get to those mirrors because they are really nice as well. And of course, when you open the door, the lights do come on as well if they're not already on and you can see just how great these are of course you have the gap there in the middle for your high beams and what else do we have at the front here well seeing as how important visibility is you can see that the size of the a-pillars has been reduced quite a lot you can see they're, they're much better than the previous cars and very impressive quite a big car like this as well the wipers also now sit below the windscreen level there again so less distractions better visibility and you also get a heating element down here under the resting position of the wipers so in the winter like a cold day like this you don't have to worry about your wipers freezing onto your screen this will also prevent the wipers from ripping and tearing and then you don't have to worry about getting that fixed as that is of course an MOT failure but that's not all because you also get that heating element up here alongside the a-pillar as well on the driver's side so as you're driving along and the wipers are pushing all of that snow up to the driver's side thus making this pillar a bit bigger and harder to see from that electric element there will kick in and the heating element will get rid of all that snow and all that slush and all that dirt for you making visibility much greater it's all these little things then that make a car like this really stand out, making your driving experience so much better. That's something I really like about Honda because they make products other than just cars. They are an engineering company with a car division. So they engineer problems out of existence. It's great technology really and really great work, making the driving experience so much better. What else do we have up here in the front end? Well, if you look up here in the middle towards the top of the windscreen, you have this multi-purpose camera, which is, in fact, a great piece of kit. It helps with all the sensing pack. And what that is, you may ask, well, it's the suite of advanced safety technology that's buried in this car. It controls things like automatic braking system, adaptive cruise control, road departure safety systems. There's about nine or 10 of them in there. 
and they all work together to make your driving experience much safer and also easier as it assists you in many ways while you're driving. That all operates from that system up here. And one thing I really like about Honda is if you're ever not sure about what something is in the car, you can use this little trick that they use. If you read the name backwards of something, it tells you exactly what's it for. So if you have something like a vehicle stability assist, it's something that's going to assist the stability of your vehicle. If you see collision mitigation braking system, it's of course a system that brakes for you and that can mitigate the chances of you having a collision, right? I think that's pretty handy. I think if you read it back, but it just gives you a quick clue as to what it is and it can be on your way. That's something I really like about Honda. And next to that, those two little dots there are in fact light sensors. These will control things such as your automatic headlights and your automatic high beam. And up here, you also get rain sensors in there as well. So when it does start raining, which is given in the UK for probably about 99% of the time, the car will automatically put its wipers on for you, so you don't have to bother with that. If you then go ahead and move to this side of the car, you see the wheels here are of course all 18 inch. This is something that is standard across all the models, but you can in fact opt for different options if you like to do so, different styles if you roll all the cars coming in 18 inch. And one thing you will notice like I said before, these mirrors here, they're much bigger than ever before, but you don't use any visibility on the side here, even though they are much bigger. And of course, this is done as Honda is an engineering company, they engineer problems out. So what they've done is essentially move this mirror a bit further back on the door. So you still have that gap there for you to see through, making visibility the same as it would be on any other car. You don't use any visibility there, but you do get a bigger mirror there, which I think is quite handy. Another thing you'll notice, brand new to the HRV, are these little icons here in the top. Little orangey yellow icons there. So what do they do? Well, I'll give you a clue. The name of it is blind spot information. Again, if you say that backwards, it gives you information about your blind spot. And it does this thanks to the radars that are hidden away in the rear bumpers back here. And they have a detection area of about three meters back and three meters out. So when someone is sitting in your blind spot as you're driving along, these little lights can come on and show you that there is in fact someone in your blind spot. So you don't have to go ahead and do a shoulder check. They will flash if someone is in your blind spot. If you go ahead and put the indicator on, as if you're about to change lanes and you're going into the oncoming path of another car in your blind spot, they will flash and beep at you to warn you. But if you're just driving along and someone is just driving in your blind spot, they will flash there and not beep at you, so it won't get too annoying. A lovely bit of kit there, again, adding to all the safety features you get in this all new HRV. Another thing to add is that these mirrors actually fold the other way as well. So if a cyclist or a motorcycle or even another car were to hit your mirrors, they won't just break and snap off. They would in fact just bend the other way and you can go ahead and bend them back into position. So what else do you have with this car? Well, as you can see there, as I'm walking away, the car tries to lock itself, but you do in fact get auto entry. So it's pretty straightforward. I have the key in my pocket. I have to be standing within 80 centimeters of the car. And I go ahead and just open the car like so. Same thing if I want to lock it and go ahead and press that little button there. So if I go ahead and do that, you'll see the mirrors fold away and the car is now in fact locked. However, you do get another piece of kit in here, which is quite handy. I pressed that button once and it locked it. But if I go ahead and press it again, you see you hear it again and that beats. What that essentially does then is a deadlock. So what that means is if, if someone, oh there, just unlocked it there. If someone goes ahead and smashes the window and a thief tries to rob you, they can't unlock the car from the inside if they went ahead and put their arm inside and try to unlock it from the handle inside. That deadlock comes in very handy then. So it's just a good piece of kit to keep in mind. That's been around for years now in many Honda models, but it's just something that people tend to forget about. If we then go ahead and move towards the back doors. You have these great flush door handles here, almost hidden away. We go ahead then and just open up these doors. You'll see 
the center console now has vents for the rear passengers and you also get two fast charging usb ports down here as well in the back of the seat pockets you also get a handy little pocket for your phone which is great as well and these seats in the rear have plenty of room for the rear passengers plenty of knee room and of course plenty of headroom up here this car obviously being quite roomy inside and of course these seats like other honda models as well are honda's popular magic seats so they can be folded down flat of course to extend the boot if you wish or they can be completely folded up if you want to go ahead and put a tall object down here on the floor behind the two front passengers so i think that's something quite handy on to the rear then well firstly we have up here on the top this great big rear spoiler which is not just for looks and to look all fancy it does in fact help with the overall aerodynamics of the car thus increasing your miles per gallon and your mileage which is great and another thing which i really like back here is of course this great big light bar which runs across the whole rear of the car it's said that about 80 percent of accidents are nose to tail shunt so if someone can see you more clearly especially with these brake lights back here as well on either side you're going to have a less chance of that happening and you getting involved in an accident another great feature which i really like is the automatic hands-free boot opening so if you go ahead and just stand in between the number plate here as long as i've got the key on me all i have to do is put my foot under that step back and the key opens you don't have to faff around moving your leg left and right the boot opens there you can see just got a bit of camera equipment and my coat here in the back the boot is nice and big and obviously you can make it even bigger if you want to go ahead and fold those rear seats down nice and flat one thing i just want to bring your attention to is of course these two buttons here now you have on the left that normal button which you can press and the boot will close automatically however we have another button here which you can use if you have a lot of luggage with you so if you're standing here and let's say you have a lot of heavy equipment with you you go ahead and you press this button first the button lights up green you do what you need to do in here you grab all of your equipment all of your bags you simply step away from it starts flashing and there you go the boot closes for you and locks as this is a utility vehicle it's something which is so great and really useful i think a lot of cars are really missing out not having this feature but it's just such a great thing to have and of course like i said at the front you have the heated windscreen element under the resting point of this rear wiper as well so it can free up the wiper in the winter and it won't get stuck and frozen to your rear window of course we have the rear badge as well with the lovely new blue effect the hrv there you can see and of course on the electric vehicle there showing you that it is in fact a self-charging hybrid vehicle so let's go ahead and have a quick look at the interior then shall we show where you can see it's very spacious and extremely comfortable it looks very modern and very luxurious it serves a purpose and everything is designed for a reason the infotainment system up there then is upgraded next generation which is just a bit more responsive and a little bit more smarter and smoother you also get a great heated steering wheel here which is great for those cold winter mornings and you also get a hill descent control button which is of course as you guessed it controlling you as you go down a hill if you do happen to live somewhere which has a lot of hills and you're constantly on your brakes over time your brakes will go ahead and fade sooner i'm sure you'd have liked to expect it if you press that button it will then of course control your descent by slowly breaking the four in wheels individually one at a time all spaced out for a very quick brief moment to bring you down to a nice slow safe pace without using the brakes and making them too hot thus wearing and fading them away over time again a great bit of technology in this car one of just many great things in this car that you have now next to the gear stick here you can see that there is a little switch there which allows you to choose from a few different driving modes you can have it's in normal mode which i do right now which is just the standard giving you the benefit of of course all the hybrid technology and you can go into eco mode then as well which will give you as much range from the car as physically as possible you can then go ahead and move it to a sport mode which of course as you guessed it will go ahead and enhance 
that performance for you a little bit, giving you a bit more power, which is of course great if you want to overtake someone on the motorway or pull out safely at junctions. And just here quickly on the corner on the driver's side, you see these little vents here. Right now it's up in the 12 o'clock position. And what that basically means at this vent, we'll go ahead and cool the passengers in the rear of the cabin here. You actually go past the driver's shoulder and start venting them at the back. It's just another great addition here. Just one of the many new things to the all new HRV, making this car really great and just stand out from all its competitors. So if we go ahead and close the door here, you will see that this all new HRV is just absolutely stunning to look at. But don't take my word for it. Don't believe a word I say. Come and check this car out for yourself. We have demos available in all of our three Honda dealerships there at Milton Way, up in Letchworth, here in Chiswick, and down in Wimbledon as well. Come check it out, the all new Honda HRV, a really stunning new car. So let's go ahead then and quickly take it for a drive and see how it performs on the road before we go ahead and wrap up this quick review of the all new Honda HRV. Right then, so here we are inside the all new Honda HRV. I've just gone ahead and put Chiswick Honda on the navigation up there just so I know where I'm going back to. We'll take this for a quick spin and see how the car drives. Obviously, we are going to be expecting some traffic, I'm sure. You see there as I drive off, the car is quite silent, really. As you can see up there, uh, the green EV uh, sign there, the logo, of course, meaning that the car is just using its motors to drive along the petrol engine it's not in use there very quiet very nice of course as we drive along i'll show you all the tech that's included of course the blind spot technology and of course flicking through all the different modes here as well Right now I've got the car in eco mode. So that means it will harvest as much power from the braking as well as possible. As you brake, much like a modern Formula One car, it will go ahead and regen the After a quarter of a mile, take the second exit of the roundabout. No, we don't need the navigation to talk there. We can just follow it. We'll go ahead and turn left here first. You can see that navigation there pops up on the left side of your digital driver's display as well. We'll let this guy go. Of course, as you're driving along, you can use these flappy paddles on the back of the steering wheel to adjust how strong the regen braking is, which I will show you in just a moment. Turn that completely down. So it's a, this car obviously eight miles on this car, the lowest mileage I've ever seen on any car in my life. This is our showroom demo car we're using for the purpose of this video. And of course, if you press home, it'll take you through all the different things you can have up on the screen. So if I want the range and the fuel there rather than navigation, you see averaging about 10 miles to the gallon here because obviously it's some stop traffic. 470 odd miles left. Our range is of course full right now to the maximum, but of course this is a brand new car, never really been used that much. Go ahead and go into this lane. Let's see what else we've got here. We'll just flip through all the menus here. You can see that as you drive along, how much you'll charge it. So if you're driving along and you press the brake, you'll see, oh, I'm not doing it quick enough. What it will do, as we, now as I'm pressing the accelerator, it's in the power side of that blue dial there. And if I go ahead and press on the brake, you see that goes down much like, as I said, a modern day Formula One car, you get that regen power back, which is very handy getting all that energy back into the car. Let's see what else we've got here then. Let me it. Go ahead and we've got power flow there. That's quite cool. You can see how 
power is flowing through the driveway of the car, which is really cool. There's the front wheels, the battery in the back of the car there, near towards the boot. And you did range, speed, and time. It's pretty self explanatory. Obviously, all your audio right now, I've only got navigation on, but you can obviously have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, or the DAB radio, and all that. This sat nav, obviously, being the better next gen generation of Honda's infotainment system and if we go ahead you can hook up your phone to it as well obviously their navigation and of course we do have a heated steering wheel button here as well which I quite like Honda put their heated steering wheel button on the actual wheel which makes a lot of sense rather than putting it somewhere over here or down here why not put it on the wheel I'm not quite sure why all manufacturers don't do this but it just makes sense which I quite like. See, I'm actually going to go ahead and press that and mute that navigation, which is a bit annoying. Let's see what else we have here then. Seatbelt shows you absolutely everything in this car. Maintenance will show you when your service is due and all that. Safety support. You can customize all the displays, all the different settings. I'm not going to play with it too much. Obviously, this is a demo car. I want to keep it quite standard for all the customers to play around with. But you can see a bunch of stuff loaded in this car for you. Of course, it has adaptive cruise control as well. You can set it here using the limiter, going up and down with it as well while you're on the motorway or a nice A road. And of course, you can set it as well to. Let's turn it on first. I'm not quite sure why that's not coming on. This is in fact my first time trying to use this. But you get the point of it. Maybe I'm not going quick enough, but you can set it so it keeps a certain amount of distance from a car in front of you. But obviously as I'm going quite slower, it doesn't work. You heard there, the petrol engine just kicked in really quickly. So again, to give you a bit more power. We'll go ahead and turn right actually down here. Don't want to be stuck too much on hangar lane traffic, which is absolutely awful. And we'll go ahead and turn right from there. You can see as I look right there, the mirror, the side mirrors in this car are absolutely huge. You can see there, but because as I mentioned before, Honda have moved them further forward on the doors, the visibility is still the same. It's great. We'll go ahead and turn right here. And again, everything in this car just feels so nice. A very luxury sort of premium feel here. You get a lot for your money's worth in this car, that's for sure. Oh, there we are. I was pressing the wrong button, my apologies. Let me just slow down, that's going to 20 now. to press the button to actually activate it and turn it on. I was pressing the wrong one. But as you see, as you drive around town here, the car is very quiet. Of course, with hybrid cars, when the petrol engine is not on and you can't hear it burning away, you just have this electric motors powering the car, which of course can mean you hear a lot of things such as wind noise or stones chipping the bottom of the car or anything like that but in this car the soundproofing is very good honda have done a great job and as i was saying before if you use these fluffy paddles you can see if i press i'll leave that if i go ahead and keep it all the way down as soon as i let off the accelerator it will slow me down there, you see 18, 17. Whereas if I go back up to 20, if I have that on normal, you see it's not going down as quicker. If I press them, there you go. That's that regen braking there for you, which I absolutely love, I think it's so good. Go 
go ahead and let this bus go. And of course, down here you have all your uh, climate control settings, rather than being buried in somewhere into the infotainment system, which I'm not a big fan of. I'll never let it out right here. Nice and simple for you to use. And of course, as I said, your heated steering wheel as well, which is already nice and toasty. Dual climate control settings for the left and right driver and front passenger AC as well. Obviously, you have your different modes there. As I pressed that, you can see normal sports. I love that. It goes into red for sports. Keep it an eco for now. You have this hill descent uh, button here, which you can press. I'm not going to do now. I'm not on the hill. But again, what I said before, what it does is lightly dab each brake so you're not wearing out your brake pads at once. So good if you live in quite a hilly sort of area. I'm going to go ahead and actually follow this sat nav now. I only need to go a mile and a half, but it's saying it's going to take us about six or seven minutes, which of course is the joys of London traffic. But please do let us know down in the comments what other kind of videos you want to see here on the Norton Way channel, whether it be more review videos, more driving videos or if you prefer the quieter driving videos where we just drive the car sort of let you hear everything give you an experience of what it would be like to drive one of these cars for yourself and that being said don't take my word for it come down visit us this particular car being here at west london here in chiswick honda and just see how good these cars are for yourself be sure to check us out online at normanway.com and go ahead and book a test drive if you want these cars are very popular, and rightfully so. They're very, very good. One thing I quite like about this car as well is, it's of course, a big car, but it isn't too far high up off the ground, which I think is the sort of thing that people like these days. They want a big car, but they don't want it to be too far up high off the ground, like a massive 4x4. Four four. And of course, here in London as well, you don't really want too big of a car because you won't be able to get anywhere or park it anywhere. I think this car just, just does the job right really. It's the perfect size, the perfect balance between big and small. See there in the reflection of that blue car in front of me, the headlights. And go ahead there uh, and keep it on automatic or however you want. You can even turn them off as well. But we do like to have them. We'll keep it on automatic and let the car adjust it itself. Like I said before as well, less distractions for you. The visibility out of this car is great. Like I mentioned, the mirrors on the side are massive. The windows are really good. The windscreen at the front, the smaller apron is really nice as well. The wipers are nicely tucked away for you, which is great. And we'll go ahead and actually let these cars go and turn left. Obviously it has voice recognition for you as well and all the other different controls up on the steering wheel for you. This van gets very close to me. Go ahead and flick it into normal mode there. And you can feel it straight away, I must say. As soon as you flick it from eco to normal, even sport, the accelerator becomes sort of less heavy, much more responsive, and it's great. The sat-nav as well, in some cars you see the inbuilt sat-nav, it does struggle, and so people tend to use Apple CarPlay or their own TomTom -tom or navigation, whatever they may prefer to use. But in this car, it's really good. You can see that it's really accurate. As I go past that road, it's very much in sync. Good timing in that. A great sat nav really in this car, of course, in that brand new, new generation infotainment system here of Honda's. It's quite great.
can see that that green EV logo pops up on the screen to let you know that the electric motors are in fact in use rather than the petrol engine as well, which I quite like. Obviously the car is all automated and does that all itself using that new hybrid technology from Honda, but it tells you there exactly what it's doing, which I quite like. One thing that's pretty neat is if you notice, the dashboard is of course a digital driver's display, but what they've done is keep the speed in, in a digital format, but the actual speedometer there is a real dial. So the real dial is moving over the screen, which is quite quite neat actually. I've never really seen that in many cars. Normally it's either just fully digital or an actual old school sort of you know, analog speedometer, but this is a mix of both, which I think it looks really nice. You can see there as I go over that bump, the bumpy roads of London here in West London, Chiswick, but it's not too bad. You go over it and it's not that uncomfortable. Now we're on a 40 mile an hour road, so you can put it in sport, you see that? Petrol only kicks in, it climbs to 40 in no time. Very impressive. Very nice indeed. You can see there, as that person's in my blind spot, the lights comes on. And just for the purpose of this video, I'll demonstrate I won't actually do it. But if that Mercedes there is in my blind spot, as he will be in just a second, never mind, he's turning. <laughs> Well, if he was in my blind spot and I were to in fact indicate what I was going to show you and demonstrate it was in fact that, that would flash and the car would beep at me to let me know. But he decided to tuck in there behind us. But never mind. Very, very useful technology this car is absolutely packed with. This makes your sort of daily commute and your daily life that bit, bit more easier and a bit less stressful, I would say. And go ahead and put it back in eco mode now. Turn the heated steering wheel off because that is getting quite nice and toasty. So I don't need to have it on anymore. Obviously heated seats as well, like standard, you can have it on and off. This car being the top of the line spec, absolutely loaded with all the latest and greatest technology from Honda themselves. <coughs> Look at the glove box as well. There you go, plenty of room in there to put all your paperwork in. As we go off, two cup holders there in the middle. Some room there in the central cubby holder. Two big cup holders on either side as well, of course, there in the middle. And then you get two cup holders in the back. Two USB ports down here, and of course, a normal charger there. If you want to plug in the dash cam or the TomTom, -tom, if you will. It's actually quite a nice, neat place to put your phone there if you want as well. And what's quite nice is, in fact, it's slanted down rather than being straight, or in some cars it sort of angles downwards, it's slanted inwards towards the car. So if you were to put your foot down on the motorway or <clears throat> at a junction, that wouldn't come sliding out and hit anything or hit yourself. Little things like that, which make this car really stand out, I think, from its competitors. We'll go ahead and just turn here left as we get towards a Chiswick Honda. Like I said before, please do feel free to make a booking appointment to come and test drive this Honda HRV here. A great car, but don't take my word for it. Come and test it out yourself. Go ahead and go around. That was the back of the Honda dealership you saw there, but we'll go ahead and go to the front and leave the car parked up front and center. Like I said, do come and visit our website and all our social medias down in the description below. Check us out every week for new weekly content like this video. And do let us know what new videos you would like to see. Be sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel. And of course, thank you for watching.